Hi everyone, it's Nicole with Soulful Sounds and I'm back to be a joyful noise in the world. And um, I believe this is going to be my fourth video that I have put out and uh, the last one that I just did a couple minutes ago, but it'll be a day or two between you, um, it was a, uh, a video on are you an empath and how does it hold you back? And I think that's a really good one. If you haven't seen it, please uh, go back and take a look at that one before you watch this one because this one is taking that one just a little bit further. Because this one then, if you are an empath and you know identifying how it holds you back and then you start reclaiming your power like you would in that one, this one's a little bit bigger than that. This one is, um, what does it mean to be a light worker? Again, another big topic. Again, I'm only giving myself 10 minutes, so, but it does play on empath, right? So that's why I thought, you know what, I'll do this one at the same time. And so what is a light worker and why are light workers here and what are we doing? And um, I know it sounds like a crazy topic and you know, this one can get very abstract, but I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible because I think that this is a very relevant discussion for what's going on in the world today and how we can be a joyful noise in the world and how we can transmute um, the dark that we see into something really magical. So let's begin. What is a light worker? So a light worker is anyone, and this is my definition, there are many. This is just how I'm going to describe it. Let me give that as a disclaimer as well. Um, for me, my definition of light worker is anyone who can transmute darkness into light. And do I mean that literally or do I mean it figuratively? Uh, well, yes, <laughs> I do, I mean it uh, both ways, literally and figuratively. And the reason why I say that is because um, now we're kind of getting into a, a spiritual idea and I'm, I, I guess I should say that not everyone's gonna agree with my ideas either and I guess that's okay too. But, you know, let's just look at it from a physics perspective for just a minute. And I'm not going to get too crazy in it because I'm not a physicist. But there is, I have some basic knowledge. And so I'm going to use that basic knowledge to apply to these principles today. One of them is energy is neither created nor transferred, destroyed, created nor trans destroyed. It is simply transferred from one form to another, right? So we're not creating or destroying anything. We are simply just transferring, right? And so when we look at it that way, um, that is something that's really cool to, to really kind of consider in a spiritual way, right? Um, because we are all giving off energy all the time, right? We are always giving off some sort of energy and that energy then is going somewhere else. Um, it's neither created nor destroyed, so it's out there, right? So we're consciously or unconsciously we are creating we are not creating energy but we are exchanging energy we are giving off energy exchanging energy and we can transform that energy but we can't create nor destroy that energy right and so this is a very powerful understanding because anything that I put into the field then is there it's there it doesn't go away it's there and anything that you put into the field then is there and it doesn't go away now let's look at this from a very practical, very practical point of view, okay? Look at this in the workforce. I think this is the best way to describe this, is in the workforce. So you and one of your coworkers is hanging out by the water machine, okay? And you're having a cool conversation and then your boss um, comes into work and something happened at home something occurred, like a chain event occurred and he comes into work and now he is not in the greatest of moods. And so he or she is not in the greatest of moods. And so they go over to the water cooler and they transfer that energy to you. So like with the ripple effect, you know, they say something that now creates uh, trauma drama for you. Like you're like, oh, why did he, he or she say that to me? And I can't believe that they did that. So you were in a good mood and that energy was now, the energy was, light and happy and cheerful and now it's been transmuted into grouchy and prickly and you know dark and gray because of this experience right this experience transferred that energy onto you and so now you are in this experience and so the ripple effect continues so you 
are now feeling a certain way and then you go back to your desk and maybe you have a receptionist and your receptionist um, says something to you and then you kind of snap back because you're still in the thought of this person who said this thing to you and embarrassed you in front of this other person. So you're kind of snappy with this other person. And then so it continues and it continues and it continues down the chain, right? So this person has given this energy, given off this energy that was not um, the greatest energy or uh, the highest energy. And you took that energy, you received that energy and then you transform that energy by practicing unconditional presence, allowing that energy to come back out as something else. That's light working. I know people make it very hard. <laughs> people want to make that one really hard, but that's what it is. That's in a nutshell. That's what it is. And um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so guess what? If you've ever done this in your life, you're also a light worker. <laughs> and this is something that you do with um, your your childhood too, with with your uh, with your trauma trauma, right? Like this is something that we all do. Look, I assure you, no matter how amazing your childhood was, you did not get out of it without some scars. I assure you, you didn't. Like nobody gets out of childhood without scars, because there is a difference between manifesting and agreeing, right? We're coming here to experience something. And through those experiences, there's contrast. And those contrasts is what enrich our soul. And sometimes those contrasts feel negative, And sometimes they feel positive. But really, they're all positive because they enrich our soul. That's what they're supposed to do, right? To enrich us. And sometimes those experiences feel kind of not, not so good. So we all have them, right? We all have these experiences in our childhood that didn't feel good end of story like we nobody gets out of childhood without scars not one person and so if you did I I would really love to meet you I would really love can we meet <laughs> because if you are the most amazing childhood ever and nothing ever went wrong and there's no trauma drama in your life ever wow you're awesome love to meet ya um, but for the most part, that's our reality, right? And so this is our collective. This is our ripple effect, right? This is what's happening. This is why your healing is bigger than you. This is why it is not selfish for you to have self-love and self-care because your self-love and your self-care, again, are bigger than you because of your light working. You're transmuting darkness into light for yourself and others. And that is huge and it's necessary and we all need to do it so if you are actively doing this in your life right now thank you thank you because you're not doing it for you you're doing it for us thank you that being said we've identified that you are very likely a light worker as well as an empath and that what we're here to do is heal those inner scars inside of us, right? To heal those dark parts of us, to find the gift inside of them and transmute that then into light. That is what, on a bigger scale, light working is. And not all light workers get to sit on a stage and have a conversation about what they're doing, but it's still beautiful, magical, wonderful. Keep doing it and keep doing it because it's necessary, because it's through that vibrational, effect that you are going to take that information because it's not there created nor destroyed it was already there right and you're accepting some of that experience and then you are transmuting that by finding the gift and then you are sending it out into the world as beautiful and that is beautiful absolutely beautiful and I applaud you and I love you for doing your work that's what we're here to do we are all doing our work. We are all light workers. It's magic, it's important, and it's bigger than any one of us. So I invite you to keep it up. And if you need help with your stuff, that's what I'm here for. And I'm sure if I need help with mine, that's what you're here for. Right? Is we're all in it to support each other, to grow the best way we can together, to transmute all of the darkness into something beautiful and light. And let me assure you, there's a gift in all of it. There's a gift in all of it. And I can say that. I, I don't say that gingerly. Like, 
um, I have a story that's, that's a pretty big one and it's pretty powerful and there was a lot of abuse in it and there was a lot of dark times and I promise you although I struggled with it in the beginning when one of the, my people that I consider a mentor shared with me that there was a gift in it and I said what what how could there be a gift in that there is no gift in that. there's no gifts in what happened there was I promise there was and when you find it when you come through the valleys of the shadows of death and you fear no evil and you get to the other side and you find that magic um, it changes everything sweetie so I'm rooting for you I I hope that I'm, I'm helping you and if I am and you need some additional help please uh, comment or, or even message me I am available all the time um, it doesn't I don't charge just to have a conversation with you on Facebook um, but I do do some sound healing as well to help people with these inner inner spaces to help them create the magic within them uh, so you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Meetup and uh, email. So many different ways to reach out. If you find this or any other uh, video that I've done helpful, please share, like, comment, give some love. I'm here for you. Namaste.